Let me read to you what Audie wrote this morning. <laughs> Whoever said the internet's a terrible place? That's where I met my one true love. On a local chat room on AOL in 1996. That's when the internet was young. When every email received really did come from someone you knew. And spam was still just canned meat. <laughs> still, it's not what you think. I never intended to date Cheryl. I had accepted that online dating was not a good idea. How can you trust those chat room girls? <laughs> they lie about everything. I was on the internet looking for a bassist for my fledgling band. <clears throat> I had typed in, does anyone here play bass? Out of nowhere, a text on the screen appeared, my brother-in-law plays bass from someone named Olive Oil 3. <laughs> Little did I know that on the other side of that name was the girl I would end up marrying. We chatted several times after that and I kept wondering what she looked like and who would name herself Olive Oil 3. Either she really loved Popeye, is very skinny, and works for the library, or is an olive-skinned Latina with three fingers. Then one day, she told me she had a bird named Pancho. That's it, I said. She's definitely an anorexic, mocha-skinned librarian hoochie from Puerto Rico. But was I in for a big surprise? The first time I saw her walking out her door, I said, wow, that's no hoochie. I remember wearing that day a very tacky outfit that was uncoordinated. <laughs> Bad move number one. That night we were supposed to grab dinner, but we chatted and chatted until we realized it was late and all the nice restaurants were closed, except for Carl Jr.'s. <laughs> Bad move number two. <laughs> we hung out as friends, never really sure what to make of our relationship, yet part of me liked every inch of her. Somehow that friendship devolved into a romantic fling. Mom. I still remember a line I used. Did it hurt, I asked her. Did what hurt, she said. When you fell out of heaven, I said. <laughs> Bad move number three. <laughs> then there was the night I made my first move. I was sick and told her the only way I'd feel better was if she, for her to give me a kiss. Yeah, bad move number four. <laughs> when I leaned over and kissed her, she smiled the whole time. I said, that's it, I really botched this one. Bad move number five. Yet for reasons still unknown to me, she held on and stayed with me. One bad move after another. But I'm glad she did, because this girl has become my everything. And I don't think I can ever be without her. They say the best romances are born from great friendships, that I can attest. Cheryl's not only my partner, but best friend, confidant, critique, and always fashion police. <laughs> she can be such a weirdo sometimes, but that just makes me love her more. Obnoxious pet bird and all. Life is going to be full of ups and downs. I'm just glad Cheryl will be with me in this journey. I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together and can't wait to grow old with her, my friend, my soulmate, my wife. Amen.